Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Correct African dance from the Niger dance. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's begin to watch the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's appreciate it. Let's give the gift of God. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him. Open your mouth and give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. We worship you. We exalt your holy name. Thank you, ancient of days. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. What a mighty God. We serve. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. He is worthy, worthy, worthy to be praised. We thank you. Ancient of days, we worship you. Blessed Robacatose, Kelly Manos Kapa, Elimazo, Kapa, Kapa, Kapaina, Embracatos Kele, Braca Shabalia de Geza. Robocoso, Lima Kateke Sikaba, Ananda, Kaloko Seke Lagaba, E. Mambroko Seke Lebaka Shani, Heman Dista, Robocoso, Bleketi Mazi Gabada, E. Shababa, Mondo Locosia, we worship you, we worship you, Mekoboko Sikabakaya, Elikamo Zekapa. Mambo custom breaketos kapada we baranikeli ado shatande he card zakolima zekimba ros kapalendi kasu karia de gasha elis zakombra katos keledia imbreke so balane kabosha bosha bola di kabadia we worship you we worship you blessed be your name forever ancient of this we thank you. Ancient of days, we thank you. Blessed be your name. Makade, Lego, Zambrakatos, Keliba, Yekaba. Imando, Kobo, Sombrakatos, Jikala, De Gazi. Abe, Shaman, De Kasi, Alabada. Robo, Koso, Lebre, Ketus, Kapala, Nikasiga. Raton, Telita, Tombara, Katesia. Meliga, Roshi, Labre, Kiston, Dilia, Adabaya. Leki gabaya da dia da kasia de goshamania. E zakala goshe kriya da da bayando soto. 
Ikabaka son liab kesuba la katika. Let's be your name for my God. We thank you. My God, we worship you. Ancient of this, we thank you. Ancient of this, we praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to your name, O God. In Jesus' precious name, thank you for the privilege to be in your house. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand, there are pledges forevermore. Thank you. We give you praise for everything. Uh, in the past week, Lord God is a new one. We pray for divine ability. We pray for divine direction. We pray for supernatural support. We pray for divine backing. In this week, in the name of Jesus. And we extend this prayer to all our brethren who are to join us in this uh, training this morning. Lord, I pray that you will bring them now in the name of Jesus. And every one of us with one heart will move this forward to the praise and glory of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to draw the uh, maker to read um, Matthew chapter 18 from verse 21 to 35. Matthew chapter 18 verse 21 to 35. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew 18, 21 to 25. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew 18, 21 to 25. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times. Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee unto seven times, but unto seventy, seventy times seven. So I want the bro Shidi to do the math. Seventy times seven. Four hundred and ninety times. Okay, go ahead. Therefore is the kingdom of God likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servant. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him 10,000 talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife and children, and all he had, all he had and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosened him and forgave him the debt. But the servant went out and found that of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence. And he laid on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me, pay me thou that owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord went after him, and then his Lord, after he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgive thee all that debt because thou desirest me. Shouldn't thou also had have compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity unto thee? And his Lord was wrought and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that, he, all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do so unto you, if ye from your heart forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, we started talking about mission pillars. And uh, again, I welcome you to this training. In Mission House, uh, it's a big house. Mission House is a big house. And uh, 
we have pillars that hold the building. And we talked about so many of them. I think we are now in number 23, which is forgiveness. I want to first of all make a statement here. Before people see what is in your heart, they will first see what you are doing. Nobody can read your mind. Are we together here? But what you do, people can see. So be careful what you do because people are watching. You don't do what you do because people are watching. You do what you do because of what is in your heart. Ultimately, what is in your heart, what is in our heart, we come out in our actions and the way we do the things that we do. People can misinterpret anything. But many a times, what you do may not be mis misinterpreted. You may come later to want to arrange it. <laughs> you know, we have so many people who go on air to arrange what they have, what they have already sp spoiled. You know, what they have already said, they want to, uh, to mend it and try to arrange it properly. The truth is this, whatever you, you say can be corrected. Say, that's not what I meant to say. But whatever you do is actually an action that you have just demonstrated. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The place our brother read talks about Jesus. Peter was asking Jesus Christ. I told you that in the disciples, among the disciples of Jesus, Peter was very vocal. Peter was very vocal. And being vocal is not a sin. It's not bad to be vocal. Are you get what I'm saying? Though Peter was vocal, he was also humble. So being vocal can rescue you. <laughs> my, my father used to, I have, I, have one, I have one uncle. He is very rugged. He's a rugged guy. If there is trouble outside, and they mention our family name that there is trouble, and it's, you know, if I'm, we will know. Everybody will know that he's the one. So I was also kind of a troublemaker a little bit, but I was not up to him. He didn't mentor me to his level. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. However, one day my, we were complaining, he's doing this, he's doing that. And my dad said, sometimes you need Abiru in the family. You need a very, very... Um, uh, who are very uh, rugged in the family. Because if everybody in the family is gentle, uh, there are some people that will just come and override. If I'm, there must be somebody that will say, where is that? That's what happened. Oh. And Peter was very vocal. John was another disciple. So that's why John was a revelator. Jesus, God gave them gifts. John was a revelator. Peter was a, a, a line breaker. Now you get what I'm saying? He was a leader. He was, he was a, charism a charismatic person. He was always on the move and on the go. Forgiveness. Jesus asked, I mean, Peter asked Jesus a question. How many times will my brother forgive me? Seven times. And Jesus said, no, 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 Peter, you have missed, you, have, you, you missed it. Too. That was not what I meant. What I am trying, I was trying to tell you is that you can forgive your brother 70 times, seven times. <laughs> and that would be, and that would be 490 times. So how, how often can we actually offend one person? And he said, in a day. In one day. That person must be looking. If we offend you, on to a nice thing. Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Some people can do that. <laughs> All right, praise the Lord. So then Jesus can give them, began to talk about the, the story that happened. He was sharing with them how there was this king, this master, and he had two servants. He had many servants. The one of the servants went to him and asked for IOU in advance or money. To do. And then he gave him the money, gave the, the servant the loan. And he spent the loan, and there was an agreement. There is a song sung by 
uh, uh, Ike Mowo. Agreement is agreement, yo. <laughs> agreement is agreement, yo. So he got to the time of agreement, planned and arranged time to be paid, and the servant could not pay. He couldn't fulfill his start. He lay down, began to roll on the floor, pleading. Begging with the master, don't throw me into jail. I am sorry. I am sorry. I will pay back. I will pay. Somebody say, I will pay back. He begged, begged, and begged. Many a time we don't meet deadlines. Take note. Many a time we don't meet deadlines. This pillar in Mission House is what binds us together. Talking about marriage, men, I think that was last month I attended a marriage program for two days to minister. Now, I told them, marriage is two forgivers living together. If you can't live with your fellow human being, you can't live with a woman at home. And you can't live with a man at home. Are you getting my point? And it's vice versa. You need to be able to develop uh, that spirit of forgiveness. The Holy Spirit comes with many fruits. One of the fruits of the Spirit is what? So when we learn to forgive one another, then we are ready to move on. We are ready to increase. Praise the Lord, somebody. I have never seen somebody that have hurt me or that will hurt me that I cannot forgive, except the devil. So any human being that hurts me, and many a times, many a times, you, you will think that you, you can never forgive this person. Are you getting what I'm saying? You will think that you can never forgive this person because at that point in time, you are re reminiscing that the person has done. Are you getting me? Or you are, you are, you are, But the truth is, ever I will, I, I can put you to test, and God can also put you to test. He will bring the way badly and in fact, cut you, cut you. He will put that person in trouble in and he will give solution to answer them. And God is watching you. He wants to check you, and you, you say you. I put it to you, everybody here. If you which I know you are in this. All of you here, you will never, ever have the mind not to help the person. You cannot. You may be arguing with me now. Say, no, I will never. I will never. You, when you get to that place, I know you. You will do it. You will help the person. Praise the Lord, somebody. You. That is one thing many Christians don't know. In that moment, no way. I will never. If I ever see his leg, her leg. In this place, let him cross here. I will cut him. I will do this. You cannot. Apostle, you don't know me. I know you. You will not. You cannot do it. You are just, at that moment, you are still. And that's what, that's a human being. And God, God understands. He sees us. He knows us. He knows us. Some recently, somebody came to see me. I was like, okay, I'm coming. I was running late to get to the office here, you know. Then, minute I told me, if I go to the very first house, you The God has showed me, has given me a word that will rescue the person from problem. And the Lord has told me in advance that that person is in trouble. For pride. Pride. I'm a pro. I'm a this. I'm a this. I'm a, uh, is that so? Okay. And the person left. And said, oh. I was like, why? Why did this person do like this? When I came in, the person was right in front there. He saw me when I entered. The person saw me when I entered. I was just trying to set up the table and the chairs. And he said, I'm gone. Oh. And just a few days ago, the person called me, I'm dying. I'm dying. I need help. Apostle, I need you. I need help. Anything you tell me, anything you ask me to do, I will do. Can you imagine that kind of situation? But I don't have that mind to say, okay, now you know that you have a, <laughs> you can go. No, I can't do that. You cannot. Forgiveness. The Bible said Jesus told them that that servant came back. When the servant came, the master forgave him. But while he was going back, Shouts to God, he saw another 
servant who owe him something. The one the servant owe him was, was not as much as what he owed the master. Jesus is, all, is showing us this. Message. I don't want to. I will, I will just talk only about forgiveness today. Have about three minutes more. Jesus is always showing us things that we build us up. Things that we build us up. But we always like to hear things that we will like. Are you getting my point here? But Jesus wants to show us things that we build us up. There are things also, it's time that Jesus will also speak to us and we, oh yeah, just to, to encourage us. But there, this one is telling us, hey, there is something to learn from here. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, grab that servant, his fellow servant, on his throat. And he said, if you don't pay me today, I will finish you. And he, he, he carried through his promise. He promised me. How many people have you thrown in jail? And the Lord said, go in there and bring them out. Bring them out. And when I bring them to you, Please help them. They know what they do. And it's to say, forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive them. And when the master heard it, what did the master do? The master, the Bible said the master was very angry. He was wrought with that. Uh, he called him wicked servant. And he said, come here. I, and then the Bible said he, he really, he threw him inside a deeper jail. <laughs> you know, listen to me. I have observed that. You want to even pray and study your Bible? Ah! Oh, me! Ah! Some things can cut. Some ways cut deeper than knives. But you know what? Jesus said, do what? Forgive. They don't know what they're doing. Many a time, they themselves are speaking because they are short-sighted. He that think he knows and knows not that he does not know. <laughs> so, so let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you the glory. Taught us. And you taught us who graphic. You lost and you have lost forever. Today we receive the spirit of forgiveness. Holy Spirit. Let hurt, let pain, let bitterness give way. So that you can use us more. So that the anointing can flow through us more. Jesus. 